Facts Verse presents. When this 11-year-old wore her dress for picture day, the school's response left her in tears. Vegas is an 11-year-old student at Lockwood Eileen Johnson Middle School in Billings, Montana. Vegas usually likes school. However, in September 2017, she had one of the worst days of her life. September 28, 2017 was picture day at her school. This is the day that students have their pictures taken so that their parents will have memories to hold on to forever. Vegas chose a brand new dress that was a gift from her sister. The dress was gray, and it had a pretty pink floral print. The dress was not short, it wasn't low-cut, it had a high neck, and the skirt went down to Vegas's knees. She wore the dress with a pair of black opaque leggings. She thought she looked great for picture day. Her parents felt the same way. When Vegas got to school, though, the teacher's aide pulled her aside and told her that what she was wearing was not appropriate for pictures. But Vegas had no idea what she had done wrong. Her grandmother, Sandra Lynn Beeler Darling, was cited for what the school called a dress code violation. The school said that she was guilty of showing her shoulders. I know, right? According to Sandra, Vegas had worn clothes to school before that showed her shoulders. The school never said anything about it then. But on this day, for some reason, the school decided to say something. Because she was showing her shoulders. Well, the staff members allowed Vegas to take her school picture anyway, and when she was done, the staff called her parents. They told them that they needed to bring different clothes for her to wear for the rest of the day. Vegas was very upset. She was excited to wear her new dress to school. When they made a big deal about it, the poor girl was in tears. Her grandmother was there to comfort her, but it didn't help too much. Sandra was outraged by the school's actions, and she posted a photo of Vegas wearing the dress to her Facebook page. She included a caption that told the story of what Vegas had been through that day. The caption read, My beautiful granddaughter Vegas got dress coded today. Her sister bought this dress and they told her to change it because it was distracting. It was picture day. She wanted to look cute. She is 11. Sandra stated that Lockwood was body shaming Vegas for showing her shoulders. In the post, she wrote that she had to calm Vegas down because she was crying. It wasn't long before the photo went viral, and soon thousands of people had shared and posted reactions to the photo. Most of the people who commented were just as outraged as Sandra was. Many said that Lockwood took their dress code a bit too far. Most of the Facebook users who saw the photo, they didn't see anything wrong with this young girl's dress. Some of the comments asked if the staff at Lockwood had lost their mind. Some said that it was messed up what the school did to Vegas. Not everybody was as supportive as the rest. One user did try to be diplomatic and said that Sandra should have put a cardigan on to cover her shoulders. But that did not sit well with Sandra at all. What made Sandra so angry was that Vegas was a modest girl. She never tried to be the center of attention, and she would never have dressed in any way to bring attention to herself, especially inappropriate attention. Sandra says that if the young boys in this class looked at Vegas's shoulders and found that to be sexually stimulating, well, there's something wrong with the boys, not the girl. The staff at Lockwood School, they've not really said much about this situation, and by not speaking out on their position, they're pretty much saying that the rules are the rules, no child is exempt. Sandra understands the children need rules, but it's when they create insane rules that she takes issue. Vegas doesn't want to have to ever go through that again, so she's going to abide by the dress code, even though it's ridiculous. Gee, I wonder how this school reacts when it's swim day. Show your support for Vegas. Click that like button. And be sure to subscribe for more.